Well, the truth is I used to be terrified of public speaking and I would, I ran a program at PATH, this was back in the late 80s. Um, and I would sometimes be, you know, because it was a major program, I was sometimes invited to speak to rooms of people and I was so nervous mm -hmm. that I would call in sick um, when that happened. And then, um, so I never liked public speaking. I never thought I was good at it. I, I was terrified of it. Um, but I published a book in um, 2000 and I went on a book tour, but my very first book reading was here at Elliott Bay. Mm -hmm. And I was so nervous. My hands were clammy and my heart was beating. And, um, and I watched the room start to fill up. And it filled up so much that they had to delay the opening. And you know, because all of my friends are here and they all came out to support me. There were 300 people in the room. And I was sitting there waiting for the thing to start, just thinking, I, don't, I think I'm going to be sick. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. And I went out in front of the audience. And because I was reading from my book, and it was a book that I had spent a couple of years writing, and it was familiar material, um, it was easy. I got into reading the book. And then the questions started. And I realized I really liked the questions. It was just a conversation with people. Um, so that was really the first time I thought, I think I can do this. And then the book tour. Um, had me going out and speaking, you know, and sometimes it was uh, 20 people and sometimes it was more. Um, but then I still wouldn't have thought of myself as a public speaker, but then 9-11 happened. And when I started m the organization, which I didn't know was going to be an organization called Hate Free Zone, later got renamed One America, I was constantly in the public eye because we were fighting for civil rights and we were fighting for human rights. And um, it was in a very public way. It was organizing, doing community organizing, and um, and I realized I, I don't ever, th I didn't think about it as public speaking. It was just the work I needed to do, mm -hmm. and part of that work was to both inspire voices that had not been there before, and to talk to people who didn't understand what the issues were and why there was so much at stake. So that really developed then into kind of a full fledged. Um, role that included a lot of public speaking speeches. I am a writer, so I love to craft speeches. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I, I can speak off the cuff and I do often, but I love the crafting process of really putting thoughts and ideas together and being able to deliver them. I, both are, both are wonderful in different ways, mm -hmm. um, but both are really necessary for the work I do. And it's really, it's a conduit to getting my ideas out and to getting our ideas as a community out.